So here's how to create a looped to-do list in Amazing Marvin. This idea of a loop schedule is that you can have a list of tasks and when you complete a task, and usually this is the one that's in the top, it goes to the bottom. This can be really helpful for something like a cleaning schedule where you don't want to have a specific day where you have to complete the task, but you want to kind of keep track of which task you have completed most recently and which task you have completed um, the longest time ago. So it's time to do that task again. And here you can see an example of this loop task schedule. And when I clean the spa, it goes to the bottom. And here's how to set this up. Now, first I want to set up my tasks and I like to always do this in the master list and you can press M on the keyboard to go to your master list if you have not set up a shortcut somewhere in one of the menu strategies. So I'm gonna press M and I like the column view here on the top left, you can switch the view. And just to make it a bit easier to set things up later, I do recommend maybe making a category for this. So I'm just going to call this loop schedule. And then you can start adding your task. You click on it and then on the right here, you can fill in the task. I'm just going to keep this really simple and call them task one, two and three. So we can check if it works. And we're going to use the recurring task feature for this because there's an option to have a task created based on when you complete something. So when you complete a task that it automatically schedules the next one for a certain day. But we're gonna deal with the scheduling because obviously we don't want to have a task scheduled in this example. So to turn this into a recurring task, I go here over the hover button and the edit menu and say make recurring. And then you want to check X days after completion and you just leave it to one. So when you complete it, it creates the next instance. So we're gonna set that one up and then that one. Now, of course, it'd be very nice if we could do this with a bulk <laughs> action. So um, let's work on adding that feature. <laughs> so we have now our tasks that are set up as recurring tasks. So we can see this little icon here on the right and it's repeating the day after completion. And don't worry about the days, we're gonna take that out. So that's the first step. And now we want to make a smart list. If you're not familiar with the smart list feature, it's really, really useful if you want to start customizing your workflow. And um, it basically allows you to make any kind of list with tasks from all kinds of categories based on criteria. So this is turned on. And then we can set up smart lists by going to the smart list overlay, clicking the menu on the top right, and then smart lists. And I'm gonna say add a smart list. So we're gonna call this loop schedule. And now we can set filters, say, okay, what is gonna be in this list? And I can set here the task type, uh, the item type, and we can just set it just to task, but most important because we already put it in a category on its own. This is gonna make it real easy because I can just go and select that category. So now all the tasks from that category are in this smart list. You can also have a fixed order, a sort order for a smart list. And you set this up with this little sort icon here on the top right. And we want to sort it by created because when we check one off, automatically another one is going to get created. And so that's kind of the freshest task. And we want to have the fresh tasks on the bottom of the list. So we're going to say we're going to sort it by created and we're going to have the oldest one on the top because that's the one we need to complete uh, next in our loop to do list. So we're going to save that. And now we have the smart list and you can do a lot of things with smart lists. A lot of strategies use the smart lists, but the easiest is just to most people, what most people want is just a way to access that smart list. And when you go to the strategies, there is a group of strategies called navigation and lists. And this allows you to set up navigational menus and you can always link certain items like these buttons here um, 
two specific smart lists to access them. And we have the sidebar turned on. This is what most people are used to from other apps. And this is this here on the left. And you can customize it by hovering over it and then clicking the edit icon on the top right. And so now ultimately we want to add this link to that smart list that we've created in the sidebar. So here I say add new item and then it's going to link to a smart list because we just created that one. It's called loop schedule. You can pick an icon or color if I want. Um, and that's that. So now we have access to our loop schedule. And if I check off the top one because it's sorted, it's going to check that one off, goes into my completed tasks, but immediately create a new one because it's on this repeating pattern of creating a new one when I check it off. And because it's sorted based on the oldest one is at the top, it goes to the bottom. This task one is now at the bottom. You can also sort this here, but since it's sort of a permanent way that you want to have this list sorted, I do think it's best to just set that up directly in the smart list. And as you can see here, you can see then when you have completed items in that loop schedule. Now, the one thing that we have left, and this is because when you create recurring tasks, Marvin automatically schedules them. This is some limitation that exists at the moment. We do want to improve that in the future. Um, but as you can see here, these tasks show up in your today list. And there's an easy way to get rid of that because you can apply filters to your today list through the settings. So you click on the menu again here on the top right, go to settings and then search for persistent day filter. You want to click this so it opens up and then here you can hide certain items from your main today list. This can also be really useful if let's say you only want to see certain types of tasks in your today list, but maybe all the recurring tasks you rather have in a separate list. So all the recurring tasks are sort of filtered out from the ones you explicitly schedule. Uh, you could do that by just filtering out all of the recurring items and then creating a separate smart list that collects all the recurring items and having a way to access that through the sidebar or whatever menu you have. But here we're going to filter out everything that's in that category where our loop schedule is in. That's why it's easy when you set all of these up in a category. So we're going to click loop schedule and then it's going to filter these out. So now, as you can see, they don't show anymore in our today list, but here we can still see them. I did just notice that we have five tasks here. So I think it's not um, counting this accurately. It's possible that it would fix it on reload, but I'm going to have a look at that. So I hope that this was helpful and I already have some ideas on how we can do a few tweaks and then there's another way to create loop list, but for now, this is the way to go.